All right, this is the last um, key video for the Lizard Virtual Lab. So this is for Module 4, the do lap colors. So this graph, what can you conclude? Over time, the A. cristatilis evolved to have brighter dewlap um, colors because of its shady environment, and then the A. cookie species evolved to have a darker dewlap because of its um, sunny environment. So um, anoles that live in shady environments have brighter dewlaps. Anoles that live in darker, excuse me, sunnier environments have darker dewlaps. These two species are both trunk ground anoles that live in, on Puerto Rico. The A. cristatilis live in a shady forest environment, while the A. cookie lives in an open, sunny environment. What is the adaptive explan explanation for why the dewlap of one species evolved to be brighter than that of the other? Um, so what I wrote, the darker dewlaps are seen more easily, I should say, by females um, in the sunny environments. The lighter dewlaps are seen more easily by females in shadier environments. The more interaction between females and males of a particular dewlap color the more common that dewlap color will um, become over time. My husband is not being quiet in the background. Uh, number three, classify this experiment as one of the two types of speciation. So this would be um, sympatric speciation because these two species live in adjacent environments. They're not separated by a geographic barrier, so that is sympatric. What type of reproductive isolation mechanism occurred here? This should be behavioral. Um, this is an example of behavioral isolation because the protrusion of the dewlap and its relative color attracts a mate. So whenever you're looking at the mechanism and it has something to do with a mating ritual, ritual it's almost always behavioral. Um, use the evidence from the scenario and the data below to support explanations that organisms with an advantageous heritable trait increase proportion. Um, so as seen in the graph below and the table below, individuals with the medium colored dewlap, so that would be color three, had the highest survival rate. This is because females in that population find that particular shade more appealing, and therefore the frequency of that color will increase over time. So that I pulled from these two um, pieces of evidence here, this table and then this graph. All right. Um, this should be, this should wrap up everything you need to be able to do for the summative on Monday. Um, so all you need to do this week on Thursday is that practice summative.